Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Ride Share Hub. My name is Dylan, thank you so much for coming by. I really do appreciate it. This channel, the Ride Share Hub, is dedicated to Uber and Lyft drivers and we always talk about making more money. That is the focus on this channel. So if you like make more money, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. It's really gonna help out a lot on this channel so that these videos get more popular and I can make more better videos. You know, you get the gist. So please smash the thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you wanna be notified every single time I do post a video. You know, turn on the notification bell. That way you just get it on your phone. You know, you can watch it really quick and move on with your day. I'm currently sitting in a random street in LA, so sorry if, um, I don't know, some person comes knocking on my window halfway through. Um, it's a pretty nice street though. Um, shout out to this blue bottle coffee. You, you guys, usually I don't do this, but you know, I, I, I was, I figured, you know, I wanted to sit down, talk about this, this video, uh, and I needed some coffee to get me through it. But guys, guess how much this coffee costed? $4.50. Look, look how small this is. This, I, I, can, I can hold it with, with just a finger, two fingers. It's insane. Uh, I got a cappuccino, but um, you know, I did want to go to Blue Bottle, so they're, they're, they're great. If you ever go there, um, you know, tell them I sent you. I don't know why, but just do it. Okay, um, so yeah, guys, I, uh, if you guys drive in California, you probably got one of these. It's a sticker. Um, I haven't put it up, but they basically want you to put it on your windshield. This is from Uber. Um, if you guys don't know what's going, I'm gonna get into what the sticker means, why I got it, if I'm going to put it on my windshield, and why or why not. But just a little back background for anybody who doesn't know what is going on. Um, oh my God, guys, look at this G-Wagon. Goals, goals, do you guys see this? Can you guys see this G-Wagon? Oh, it's in the way. Oh, it's coming by. Look at that. Look at that beautiful G-Wagon. Goals. Oh, oh, they're parking right here. Oh, shoot. Do they see me filming them? Oh, shoot. They literally live right there. <laughs> uh, maybe I should, maybe I should move. <laughs> I feel weird just sitting here now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move, okay. Hold on, I just feel really weird because they literally just got home and I'm parked right outside their, their house. <laughs> uh, quick detour, guys. I'm gonna pull over right here instead. <laughs> Gosh, that was pretty hilarious, actually. They're like, why is this guy filming me? Wow, that car, that's a beautiful car though. Oh my gosh, I love, that's a dream car right there. Okay, we're back. Let me refocus this. Is it focus? Why isn't it focusing on me? Okay, we're back. Sorry guys. <laughs> That car is literally goals though. Okay, so back to peasant life. That that house out there was like a, probably like a $4 million house. It was so beautiful. One day guys, one day. Enough Uber rides and we'll be there soon. Ah, tastes like piss. <laughs> All right, so what is this? What's the meaning behind this? If you guys didn't know, in California right now, Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash just put up $90 million to keep drivers classified as independent contractors. So, just a little backstory, Uber started out as a way for dry, sorry, just flashed all you guys, as a way for people to make extra money on the side. Wasn't really intended as a, you know, a full-time gig, but, Basically, it started out as a black car service. It was like pretty much like a high-end luxury service for people who had a lot of money, who didn't want to order a taxi, you know, and who could just order it through an app. Mostly in San Francisco, in the Bay Area, people who are 
tech billionaires. That's who they're designed for, that's the app. It's not designed for you or me, unless you're a tech billionaire in San Francisco. That was the goal in mind, just how do we get these rich clients who can afford a lot of money using our service all the time, rather than, I mean, or else if you're super rich, you just need, you either need a personal driver or like a limo service, and those are so outdated, like, who has personal drivers anymore? Like, just somebody waiting outside your house and then taking you, and you need to pay them a lot of money because, you know, they're like, for you, waiting on you. So what if you created a luxury service just for these guys and they'll pay whatever, 100 bucks each ride, and then people who own nice luxury black cars can make some extra money as well. That was the purpose behind it. It's not, it's, it's not what it is today. It's, it's completely changed. Um, and so with that being said, since there are now millions and millions of rides going on all the time, this happened within the span of nine years maybe even less it started in 2010 and to this point in nine years that's really really fast for a company to just go from zero to what 80 billion 100 billion dollar valuation pretty pretty nuts um it's phenomenal what they have created it's, it's completely changed the transportation industry people are not even owning any cars anymore because they just rely on uber and lyft and rideshare um but basically with that being said, people are now depending on Uber and Lyft for full-time income, and so what started out as a way to make a few extra bucks now has blossomed into a way for people to make a lot of extra bucks. And with that, people start quitting their jobs and just driving Uber full or Uber and Lyft full-time and just for money. There's no, like I said, it's you're on a 1099, you're an independent contractor, get no benefits, no health insurance, uh, you know, no right to unionize because you're just an independent contractor. And at the same time, you're using your own car. And this is, you know, this is what people signed up for. But people are getting angry because, you know, now all of a sudden, years later, they're like, shoot, I've been driving full time. I'm a full time driver. Think about it. You're, you're not, I mean, yeah, you are at the end of the day an Uber and Lyft driver, but really at the end end of the day, you're a driver. That's what you are, that's your job. And so, you're not an employee. But in California, the government is like, wait a second, Uber and Lyft it, are have all of these drivers and none of their drivers are receiving any benefits and they're all on 1099. None of them are on W-2. And so the government is um, basically, try, the California State Assembly wrote a bill called AB5, which would classify, which, yeah, it does classify gig workers. You know, we're talking about Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Instacart, anything like Uber Eats, all these things. You would become an employee now with benefits and a set schedule, you know, we're talking about interviews, we're talking about a hiring process, you know, you sign up, you get set schedule most likely. Um, it's not, it will be completely different as it is today. It's huge. And not only will this be in California, but the whole country could adopt this too, state by state. If, it, if they see success with this in California, now the government is now making millions and millions of more dollars in tax and taxes, and etc. Um, other states will be like, why don't we do this too? Let's just pass it all. So, um, you know, it's gonna go, come to Florida, it's gonna come to Georgia, it's gonna come to New York, you know, everywhere. <coughs> bless me. I'm not religious, but bless me. Um, allergy season. And so with that said, um, Uber and Lyft, they really, really, really don't want this drivers to become employees. They want to keep them independent contractors. So they've sent me, they, at first it started out with a petition, right? They created a petition. They kind of eased their way into it. They said, sign the petition. Oh no, firstly, they told the government, this is actually what happened. So they introduced this bill, AB5, California State Assembly, which still needs to be passed through you know all the other branches I don't know the whole government I'm not a pol politician but it still needs to be passed basically and confirmed through with the governor and all that stuff in the state 
And basically, so it started out with Uber and Lyft responded to the government and said, hey, look, let's keep drivers independent contractors and let we'll compromise and still give them employee type benefits without making them actually employees on W-2. Then they created a petition because the government was like, I pretty much, they were like, well, that's not good enough. Then there was a petition that was started and some guys walking through don't don't rob me don't rob me please don't rob me i'm all by myself um nice chill la guy and and then they then they created a petition they sent out a petition to thousands of drivers i got the i got the petition and they wanted us to share our experience on why we want to keep our flexibility that's what it is it's like do you want to keep your flexibility uh, well, yeah, but there's also a lot of downsides of not being an, an employee, which I'll get into in a little bit. And then after that, they they started. Er, then they held a rally at the state capitol when they were going to vote on the AB5, and they provided food vouchers. They provided money for transportation and time for the drivers. I didn't personally go, but a lot of people did go. You can check out Rideshare Professor, um, the Entrepreneur. You can check out their videos. They made some great videos. Um, go follow, go subscribe to them too, if you want. <laughs> I, I am, I'm pretty sure I am. No, I'm not subscribed to them, but I watch, I watch their videos. I don't know. I don't like being. I'm not really subscribed to any rideshare channels. I just kind of mingle on the internet from time to time. I watch weird videos. I watch like prank videos. I don't know why. <laughs> I just think they're funny, but that's like my type of humor. Um, and then, so they held this rally, which didn't work. And then they sent out letter emails to all of us, at least uh, me and Cal us in California, I'm assuming other states as well, maybe just California, asking us to send in videotapes of us. They wanted us to create a vlog, tell, send in a link to our video to the state saying why we like our flexibility and why we want to stay independent contractors. Then Uber, then they sent, then they put up, then they sent us this. I need to get my thumbnail, but can you see this? Ooh, ask me about my independence, independentdriver.org. I should go there. I should check that out. But they said, put this on your windshield and so your passengers can ask you about your independence. I, don't, I really don't know what that is going to achieve. I don't know what this sticker is going to achieve at all. But then Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash put up $90 million dollars to fight this thing and I guess if it doesn't go through then all that money I don't know what happens to that money I'm assuming it, it's gonna go to the drivers in California um, but I could be wrong are they gonna put up that money in other states too I don't know somebody was like why don't they just give that money to drivers well think about it and then and then they're like that would fix the problem think about it there are three million uber drivers in the world right and they only put up 30 million each, so 30 million dollars. That really only translates to about ten dollars per driver. Does that fix everything? No, not at all. Three dollars a driver, that's you know they make a lot of money. You don't realize, oh Uber left that's a how are they worth billions of dollars? Um, think of all the billions of dollars worth of rides happening all the time so will I put this up on my windshield no I don't I really don't think this is gonna help at all I am super curious to see what is gonna go go on though so let me know down below your thoughts on this are you if you got one of these or if you did get one of these what would you would you put it on your windshield do you want to stay an independent contractor or an employee let me know down below in the comment section down below. My name is Dylan. This is the Ride Your Hub. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later, guys. Peace. Also, what do you guys think of my haircut? I feel like I feel bald right now. All right, bye, guys.